What is going on everyone? My name is Codemore and welcome back to Electronics episode 27. In this episode we are going to learn about the binary number system. Now if you already know binary and you're really comfortable with it, you can feel free to skip this video. But if you don't know binary very well, I highly recommend watching this video. Because when we make our 8-bit computer, we are going to be using binary for literally everything. Our computer commands are going to be binary, or all of our numbers are going to be binary, all of our math is going to be in binary. So you really have to begin getting comfortable with this binary system. And we will have plenty of practice with this as we go along with this series. Now, I've found that the easiest way to explain binary to someone is to start with what we already know. And for the most part, we all count in base 10. So what exactly does base 10 really mean? Well. For starters, it means that we can use the digits 0, 1, 2, all the way up to the digit 9. So we have 10 total digits, 0 through 9, to work with. The next important thing to note, and this is something that we do without even really thinking about it, is that the position of each digit in base 10 in our numbering system has a very specific meaning. So if we have the number 8, well, we know that's the value 8. But now let's take a look at the number 1, 8. Now, if this number 1 was on its own, then it would only represent, well, the value 1. But this 1 is in the left position. It's in the second position over in this number. And obviously, we know this as the number 18. So basically, whatever digit is over here to the left really doesn't represent 1 anymore. That represents that we have one group of 10, essentially. So this really equals 10, and then we add on our single digit, Eight here. And of course, that gets us, well, the value 18. It's sort of hard to write it like that. And of course, as you move further over, if there was another digit here, well, this would actually be worth 100 times whatever the digit is here. So if there was a 2 here, well, this is worth 200. And then you'd add that to the rest, and you get, well, 218. It's really easy for us to overlook these simple little things because we do it automatically in our mind all of the time. So let's really quickly break this down into more of a mathematical formula. Say we have a number that's worth um, three, three digits. Say we have a three digit number here. I don't know, let's make it 314. The further left you go, the more significance the digit has, then the more significant that digit is. And we, and we can represent this using powers of 10. So the digit in the rightmost place here, well, this is worth its value multiplied by 10 to the 0. And the next place over is whatever the digit is here, but multiplied by 10 to the first power. And then more digits over, this is, would be the digit 3, multiplied by 10 to the second power. And of course, this would continue onwards as we go more and more to the left. Obviously, 10 to the 0 here, well, that just equals 1. Anything to the power of 0 is a 1. 10 to the 1 equals, you guessed it, 10 and 10 to the 2 equals 100, of course. So in essence, what we're really doing when we see this number 314, we're really taking each of the digits, so we're doing 3 multiplied by its positional value, which is 100. Then we're adding that to 1 multiplied by 10, its positional value. And then we're adding that to 4 multiplied by its positional value, which is just 1. So of course, we get 300 plus 10 plus 4, and we get the exact same thing that we wrote, 314. And trust me, this is all going to play in to when we move on over to binary here. So we use the base 10 number system, while binary is a number system itself. It is just the base 2 number system, hence by and binary. And if we go based off of what we learned about the base 10 number system, which was we have 10 digits to work from, 0 through 9, well, when we look at the binary system here, that this means we have the digits 0 and 1 to work with. We only have two digits to work with. And this is really, really great for computers and for digital electronics, because a 0 can just be represented by low, or essentially connected to ground. And a 1 can be represented by high, or essentially voltage. And this is why binary is used so often in computing and all these types of electronics, is because it's so simple to represent using voltage. 
using simple circuits and logic gates like we discussed in the previous video. So when you're reading binary, you kind of have to change the way that you think, and most often that results in you trying to convert from binary to base 10, something that we can really understand. So if I just have a single digit binary number, say 0, that just equals 0 in base 10. Cool, I understand that. If I have a binary number 1, that just represents 1 in base 10. Cool, I understand that. But what if I have 1, 0? Well, this is not equal to the number 10 in the base 10 number system. Instead, 1, 0 is really equal to the number 2 in the base 10 number system. So how did I figure this out? How do I know that 1, 0 equals 2 in our normal system? Well, let's take a number. Let's say, well, let me go off of what I just discussed. So we have the number 1, 0. The number further to the left is going to be more significant, it's, going to, its value is going to be more than all the numbers to the right of it. So remember in base 10 when we multiplied this by 10 to the 0 and by 10 to the 1? Well instead of doing that of course, we are instead going to multiply these by 2 to the 0 and we'll multiply this digit here by 2 to the power of 1. And we're using 2 because, well, we're in base 2, we only have 2 digits to work from. And this is where things get not complicated but a little bit hairy because here we have binary so we have one zero in binary and the multiplication that we're doing with these powers of two down here well this is in base 10. So essentially I'm teaching you right now how to convert from binary into base 10 because that's the easiest way to begin to understand binary and to be able to recognize what a binary value actually equals in base 10. So. 2 to the power of 0, again this is just normal math as you would do it every day, of course is 1, anything to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is just 2. Now all we have to do is multiply the digit by its place value that we assign to it. So here we're going to have 1 multiplied by 2 plus 0 multiplied by 1, of course this is just going to be 2 plus 0 equals 2 in base 10. So we know that 1 0 equals 2 in base 10. And that's all there is to binary. And this is exactly how you would convert from binary into base 10. So if we take a look at the math I did here, we're doing essentially the exact same thing that I just showed over here. Only over here, our top numbers were also in base 10. And over here, they're instead in base 2. So let's do a little bit more work here with binary. Let's get a little more comfortable with it. Let's say I have a nice large number, well, not too, too large, but Let's say I have a five digit binary number and I'm just gonna try my best to write binary in base 10 that way we don't get confused here. Now let's say I have the number one, zero, zero, one, one. Well, I have no idea what this means, so let's go ahead and convert this number into base 10. And by the way, right after I finish this example, I'm gonna show you kind of the shortcut that I take in my head to process these binary numbers. That's a little simpler than writing out all this math all the time. Remember that the rightmost digit is just going to be it multiplied to the power of 0. This one's going to be multiplied by 2 to the power of 1. Sorry, over here I meant 2 to the power of 0. The next one over, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, and 2 to the power of 4. Now 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So now we know exactly what to do. We have digit 1 multiplied by 16 plus digit 0 multiplied by 8 plus another digit 0, this time multiplied by 4, plus a digit 1 multiplied by 2, and plus a digit 1 multiplied by 1. So here we wind up having 16 plus all of this is 0 plus 2 plus 1. And I'm just going to raise 0 here. So this all equals 19. And that's of course in base 10. So we know that 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 is simply 19 in base 10 in the way that we understand numbers. Now I'm going to teach you a really quick trick. Now if this trick might not work for everyone, this is just how my brain processes information. So maybe it'll help someone out there. My brain can pretty easily take a number and just double it. It can just, mul my brain can easily multiply this by two. So if I start with the number one on the right here, and I just start multiplying by two, so one times two is two, and then I continue this to the left, so I take two and multiply it by two, I get four. Take four, multiply it by two, I get eight. Eight multiplied by two, I get 16, 32, 
64, 128, and so on. I can do that pretty easily in my mind. So when I'm thinking of a binary number, let's get an example number of say 00101110. In my head, I just calculate from right to left and start adding up digits together. So I know, okay, no one. I see a one here, which means I have to add two to my result. Okay, one here, so I have to add four to my result. One here, so I have to add eight to my result. Zero, so I don't have to do a 16. There's a one here, so I have to add a 32 to my result. That was a absolutely messed up three. <laughs> and then there's a zero for 64, so I don't need a 64. Zero for 128, so I don't need a 128. So I know that this number is 32 plus eight, that's 40 plus four plus two, that is 46 in base 10. So I know that the number 101110 is 46. So I don't even worry about all this power stuff, that just confuses me more. All I do is in my head multiply starting from one all the way by two each time as I go to the left. So we can go from binary to base 10 really easily, but say we want to go from base 10 into binary. Now there's some mathematical ways you can do this and all, but pretty much the only way I'm going to show you, and really, to be honest, the only thing that you need when we're only working with 8 bits at a time, is pretty trivial. So let me write out that whole sequence of 2 I had. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Now let me say that I have some number in base 10 that I want to convert into binary. So let's say I want to take 105 in base 10 and go into binary. What in the world would that be? Well, start all the way to the left at the largest digit that you have in your, in your binary number or whatever. In this case of eight bits, which by the way, eight bits basically means we only have eight binary places to work with. Then all I'm gonna do is ask myself, does 128 fit into 105? No, so this must be a zero. Does 64 fit into 105? Yes, so it's gonna become a one because I need a value of 64. So now I'll take my 105 and I will subtract 64 from it and that will leave us with 41. Okay, so let's continue onwards here. Does 32 fit into 41? Well, yes it does, so that means I need another one here and of course, I will subtract 32 from 41 now. And this will leave me with nine remaining. Okay, does 16 fit into nine? No, so that must be a zero. Does eight fit into nine? Yes, so that's gonna become a one. And I'll subtract eight, and I'm left with a one. So obviously, four does not fit into one, two does not fit into one. Of course, one fits into one, so there will be a one at the end. And boom, I am at zero with some crooked sideways math, as I like to do. And we know that 105, that's a bad zero, 105 in base 10 is equal to 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 in base 2 in binary. And of course, we can leave out this last zero. Any zeros to the left won't change the answer at all. And that's all I have for binary today. Now in my experience, people have kind of a hard time understanding binary sometimes, especially when you're trying to convert back and forth from decimal into binary so you can try to understand it. But I can promise you that if you do it long enough and you try and you keep working and trying to understand what these numbers mean, given time, you're gonna be almost instant at converting binary numbers, or at least the small ones like eight bits. And eventually it's just going to become second nature for you and you're going to be able to calculate these small binary numbers and instantly know what they mean in your head. So if you're really serious about this, take some time, maybe practice binary, make sure you can understand converting from binary to base 10. And we're also going to have quite a bit of practice with this in the next few videos along with the rest of this series. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.